Greetings to you all, and welcome back to Let's Play Pine Creek with me, Otago Omega. I'm getting kind of into this game. It's... it's interesting. I want to know what's going to happen. Let's find out. Let's solve some... mysteries. I've already met Cass. Okay, so I have to try and decipher this nonsense. The ruler of the dead is either Satan or Hades, I guess. Rapes the daughter of nature. Hmm. What is the daughter of nature? This, this is testing my mythology a bit too much. Are you the daughter of nature? No, you just love me. Alright. That kid has a dream, and I love his dream. What a legend. I'm gonna start by talking to this old kook. Nothing new here. Who are you? Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. What an interesting story. That sounds terrible. Unbelievable! Where did this pandemic happen? Oh dear. Politics is creeping in once again. You didn't bore me. Not in the slightest. I can't exit from the bottom of the screen. My dramatic leave did not work. Right, I'm going straight to the church. It's always the church. Who's taking mass these days? Is that, that guy that bought the pizza? Oh no, it's you. You're glad this happened. Oh. God damn this guy. Some people never change, I guess. Maybe I should go taunt the Reverend in his police cell. Tim? Tim? It's very suspicious that Tim would be gone. I'm feeling great. I mean, I mean like shit. I'm 13. I don't even think you can legally hire me, let alone put me in such dangerous situations at 13 years old, but alright, let's do it. Excuse me, I need to mock the- why is he not in jail? Where's the Reverend? You won't speak to me. Why? Screw you then. I'm going upstairs, who are you? believe it's going to cause any problems whatsoever. Why can't I use Liz's computer? Don't tell me there's a password on this thing. Surely not. Okay, what else have we got? I've not done anything in here before. Yeah, 
Yeah, damn right. This is a pet shop. I know Gretchen. We're on good terms. Okay, well, you just here for decoration then? It's just a convenience store, a corner shop, a supermarket, something along those lines. But who haven't I been? I speak to mum and dad. They're always good for a chat. Get to it, Jim. Don't waste time talking to me. Got to earn back those twenty dollars I borrowed, or fifteen, I guess. They're a bit mad at me. Alright. You still arguing about the sugar? I guess not. You, you're my friend. What do you have to say? Why have we not spoken in the last seven days? That sounds like a terrible idea. I was pretty close. Don't worry about it, I didn't die. It makes me stupid. Stop flirting. Oh, I'll put you in danger as well, why not? You're right there, creepy girl who just sits here. You'd suddenly become a lot creepier than... I mean, I said it as a joke, but you just confirmed it. Last row, you said. This is not helping me. Oh, here we go. Um, Persephone, I guess? Oh, Persephone is the queen of the underworld, okay. I thought Hades was in charge of the underworld, but who knows. Um, oh, right. Okay. I was... Mm. I missed the end of that. Who is the personification of nature there? Okay. So she is the daughter of nature, and Hades is ruler of the underworld. Got it. See, we're learning things. Now, let me just find where Hades is. Can I... If I just talk to Cass, do I now magically know what to do? Because I don't.
Perhaps it is this dog statue. It is not. So where is the underworld? Could it be the sushi? I really feel like she should have told you that, man. You deserve each other. Have you ever left this train, old man? Or do you just ride it back and forth all day? What's going on in this town? What are you doing to him? We'll try to make it to... What? You're saying you'll process him fast. So, that's good. Good work. Disavow. You, do you know anything about Greek mythology? It doesn't seem like your area of expertise, but maybe. What a useless woman you are. Damn it. I was gonna go and chastise Vic for a bit. What about you? You like Greek mythology? Bit of a long shot, checking with these people. I need to stop talking to this guy. Nice one. Good hustle, kid. You see, this is what happens when you close down the Love Hotel. It just spills out onto the street. But she's gone. I need to talk to her about Vic. She needs to be warned. Maybe you are... What was your name? Maya? Sorry, say that again. The head of Medusa. Medusa is Greek mythology. But not the mythology I'm looking for. Also, I don't think the train will take me to Italy. Wait, what? The hero. Cinnamon. Is that you? Okay, this town seems somewhat useless to me. Where's my old man? I don't like you. Oh yeah, silver linings. Good grief, the people in this game. What are you two talking about? No. I mocked you for sitting here waiting day after day for someone who wasn't coming. And your story is actually touching. I apologise, old man. Make amends. 
Wait, I can go up here? How long has this existed for? Don't kill me. Has this always been here? Oh. Good find. Well, that, that was lucky. Yes, I don't work there anymore. Also, why would I call you if you want to place a pizza order? What kind of efficiency would that be? Okay, I shan't move. I'm still in exactly the same location as requested, Cass. Can I move yet, Cass, please? I'm starting to seize up. Please don't do that, Cass. Judith? What on earth? You let us think you were dead for ten days. I, th I feel the finger is more important than the hair, I'm going to be honest. What on earth were you doing, Judith? Why did you think no one would believe? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Judith, I'm glad you're all right, but you had evidence. You didn't just have a theory. You didn't just overhear someone chatting. You had photographic evidence. If you'd walked into the police station with it, gathered all of the police together, unless they're all corrupt... I'm sure it would have been alright. And if they are all corrupt, then leaving clues isn't going to help anyone anyway, because when, when they go to the police, it's not going to work either. Judith... You're not the best, okay? You're a moron. You're a moron who did a great thing. But you're still a moron. And you nearly got us all killed. Well, me. Just me. And if you've got a train to catch, I know exactly where you're going. It's not much of a secret. It literally only goes to one other place. Who knows, man? Who knows?
Well, that was deep. A very mature statement there from a 13-year-old. Alright, Cass, get out of here. Wait, you got a mum, Cass? I never met her. Arcade, obviously. I only have one game at home and it's not great. Seems unlikely. But possible, I suppose. This has been the Pine Creek. Interesting game. Now, my f first thought is for a game like this, it's not so much a game as an interactive story. And believe it or not, I am fine with interactive stories. I have played them before. I find them entertaining and a nice medium of essentially reading a book or watching a film. But as for Pine Creek itself, I think it's quite clear what's happened here. The person who created this game has made it with a grand story in mind, got so far through the game, and then decided they're done with the project and they want to wrap it up, and they want to move on to something else. Which happens, and it usually just makes a game feel short. And if you were playing a platformer and the game felt short, you would go, well, I was a bit short. But when you're playing a murder mystery and you cut it short, it feels so wrong because it feels like the whole middle section of the game was just chopped out. Like, it, the, the, the breakdown of a story like this is kind of cliche, but you need the old start, middle and end business. And we got the start, and we got the end, and we got no middle. And the problem with having no middle is that I don't know who the culprits were. I mean, one of them was Judith's dad, who I never interacted with. I, I walked past him once, I think. Or the policeman that I didn't interact with because he wasn't Liz. I walked past him once. I didn't have any suspects who turned out to be innocent. I didn't have any leads. I didn't have any suspicions. And that's all supposed to be built up in the middle. You see, the start is very good. Setting up the mystery. Okay, it's full of cursing everywhere, and... I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't. It's not my thing. I don't like the overuse of cursing. I think that when someone makes a game, they set out it's going to be an 18. They think that gives them carte blanche to just put cursing in everywhere. And it doesn't add anything, in my opinion. But, I mean, take it or leave it with the cursing, whatever. But the premise, the mystery, missing children, severed limbs, blood everywhere, some a little bit of a cult creeping in, a little bit of religion creeping in. Good. Nice. When it goes off the rails is when a kid starts solving everything by himself, and the method by which he solves everything is, I don't know anything, but I've heard this place is suspicious. I'm going to go there. And that just comes across as idiotic. It's disappointing because I love the idea of reviving retro games, well not retro games, but reviving games to retro consoles. And a game like this, it, it has the potential to do really well on the Game Boy because it doesn't need much in the way of graphics or processing power or anything like that. It just needs a good narrative. And it started off with a good narrative. But then it had no middle. And then, because it had no middle, the end felt poor. And what we're left with is a sour taste of, damn, could have been good, but didn't get there. And I am like 90% sure this is a case of someone's pet project got to a point where they just wanted to push it out the door. They wanted to wrap it up, wanted to finish it. You think of any a detective game, murder mystery game, I don't know, Broken Sword, say. Imagine if it only had two locations. It's, it's unheard of. Hey, I, I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad I played it. It was interesting to see. I just wish, I wish it had been longer. I wish it had been more fleshed out. 
I wish it had been a little more... I want to say mature, but that just doesn't sound like the right word. Grown up? Just to tone down on the cursing. And tone up on... Well, slow down on the pacing. Introduce some potential suspects. Give me some leads. Give me some false leads. Give me anything. Just lead me around a bit. I've been waffling for ages. Let's wrap it up. Good potential squandered. That's my opinion. If, if you disagree, shout at me. If you agree, praise me. Yes. I've been Artega Omega. This has been Pine Creek. I do Let's Plays, which is what this ended up being. One on the screen. I also do Reviews, which is what this started off as being. But I changed my mind. On the screen. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.